a hey my beautiful yogis namaste today is day 18 and this is your mashup of your three warriors virabhadrasana one two and three so hop into your birthday suit roll out your yoga mat and let's get started We will be starting standing, just doing a basic warm up, rolling out all of our joints and preparing us for today's class. So starting with your head, do some basic neck rolls. Welcome to close your eyes here and feel into your body, reverse your circle. <sighs> Breathing deep. Rolling your shoulders up, back and down, making this as big as you can today, really focusing on utilizing each joint, really feeling it there. Now big circles with your whole arms up and back. Now rolling your shoulders forward. How do you feel today? We've just learned our warriors one, two, and three. It can be a lot of work if it's not something that you are used to doing. A big circles, arms up, forwards, and down. Now for me, warrior two is something that I really struggle to hold because I have weak upper glutes. So to hold myself in this lunge, I really start to feel the shake and the burn under my leg and my glutes. Hands on your hips now, big hip circles. So what I want to invite you to start to discover within your own body is as we are learning these new asanas, these new poses, see which poses you are finding a little bit difficult to hold. It's really an opportunity of self-discovery. Reverse your circle of figuring out which muscles you have natural strength in and which muscles you maybe need to focus on doing a bit more work on. So it's a really great opportunity to just check in with your body and see where you can start to build tone and strengthen in your practice. All right, standing with your feet spread wide, just over hip width distance. And we're gonna pick up one leg and then the other, drawing a big circle with our knee, so rotating from our hip joint. So balancing on your left leg, just a quick up and around with your leg, bending from the knee and rotating from your hip outways. So remember for balance here, hands on your hips, engage your core, and we're just rotating from our hip. Now go the other way. See if you can take your knee back and down. Beautiful, nice little warm up for us before we go into our warrior flow. And we're at day 18. I cannot believe we are getting so close to the end of week three. Give your whole body a shake now. Maybe you want to do some ankle rolls as well. Maybe you want to stand on your toes and awaken your calves. Stretching out the fronts of your feet, the back of your feet. Maybe your wrists, your fingers. Oh, relax your jaw and get ready. All right, we'll do a little flow warm up here, awakening the muscles within our body now. We've just awoken the joints. Now let's move with our muscles. So standing long ways on your mat, feet hip width distance apart. Inhale, root to rise, arms up to the sky. Now exhale, as we forward fold, swan dive. So swan dive is when you bring your hands out to the side and you lead with your chest, melting your body down over your legs into your forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. So this is your flat back position. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rolling up with control, arms up to the sky. Exhale, hands to heart. Four more times. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, swan dive. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, release. Inhale, rolling up, arms up. Exhale, hands to heart. That was two, let's go again, inhale. Finding your flow, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, relax. 
Inhale, up we come, arms up, palms together, exhale, hands to heart. Two more times, inhale, exhale, swan dive. Inhale, up, your version, flat back, exhale, down. Inhale, rolling up, arms up to the sky, hands in prayer, exhale to heart. Last time, now follow your breath, in and out. Halfway lift, inhale, exhale, relax. Inhale, rolling up and hands to heart. Beautiful. Give your body a little wiggle, getting into the zone. Whether you're practicing this in the morning, at night, during the day, wherever you are today, be with your present moment, however you are feeling. If you are really struggling to find the motivation to get on the mat today, if you found these warrior poses a little bit hard and you're feeling a bit discouraged, then please, 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 you can always reach out to me. We have moved through our sitting asanas to our standing and now we, were real, we are really getting into our flow. And this might be a bit faster of a progression for you, but know that that's okay because this is your journey and your journey is not gonna look like mine or anybody else's. So honoring your body and your boundaries and knowing that you can go back to the beginning of this challenge and do any day that you like again, slowly working your way up to this class. Here we go, my friends. We are going through our warrior one, two, and three with our vinyasa flow. So follow my lead. We'll do it once on either side with me giving you slow direction and alignment. And then we will do it again in a flow with our breath. So standing back on your mat, we're going to inhale, arms up. Exhale, swan dive. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, melting down. Now walking your hands out to downward facing dog. Finding your strong pose here. You're welcome to take a moment to pedal it out. This is our first downward dog of the day. So awakening down the back of our legs. And now we start our flow. Inhale, right leg up to the sky. Exhale, knee to nose, step it on through. Here we go. Inhale to warrior one. So remembering here to turn our left foot out 45 degrees. And if you are feeling that your hips are a bit tight, you're welcome to step your legs out a little bit wider like you're on train tracks. All right, inhale, warrior one. Exhale, sinking down. Inhale, opening yourself out to warrior two. Finding your feet alignment here. Your left foot is facing the wall that your body's facing, parallel to the edge of your mat. Your right foot is facing the right side of the room that you are moving in today. And your hips and your shoulders are facing the wall behind you. So we inhale to here. Exhale to sink down into your warrior. Looking over your right fingertips. Now inhale, scooping your left hand down around your body and turning yourself back to the front, high lunge. That's an inhale, sinking down into your high lunge. So your left foot is now back to balancing on its toes. From here, we inhale, we kick off our back leg. Inhale, up. Ooh, might need to move away from my pot plants there. So it's inhale up. And remember, you can, if you need to, take a couple of steps in to get yourself to this position. And you're welcome to leave your left toes touching the ground for your balance. Inhale up. Exhale down into your warrior three. Remembering to flex that left foot Look, check that your big toes are facing the ground so that your hips are level and it's nice and flat. One breath here. <sighs> In 
Inhale, coming back up, letting your weight fall back onto that left foot into your high lunge. Try not to collapse yourself out of that. If you can help it, make it gentle, engaging all your muscles. And exhale, sinking down again into your high lunge. Inhale, planting your hands on the either side of your front foot. We're going to take our vinyasa flow to set us up for the other side. So stepping back to plank, you can be on your knees here or you can be up in full plank with me. Inhale. Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana, core engaged, lowering down with control, elbows in tight to your body. Inhale, Cobra. And exhale, downward facing dog. <sighs> Woohoo, that was the first round, my beautiful yogis. Let's do the other side. Inhale, left leg up to the sky. Exhale, knee to nose, step it through. Getting ready for warrior one on the other side, turning that right foot out. Inhale, up we come. Exhale, sinking down into your warrior one. Working on getting your hips around to the front. And if when you find your hips are facing the front, you can't keep your right heel on the ground, step your legs out a little bit wider. Checking that you can see your big toe on the inside of your left leg. That was exhale, sinking down into your warrior one. Inhale, opening out to your warrior two on the left. Exhale, sinking down into your warrior. Having a little look at your body and your alignment. Is your left big toe facing the wall? Is your right foot parallel to the back of your mat? Are your hips and shoulders facing the front wherever you are? Can you see your big toe on the inside of your left leg? And your arms out to the side, head looking over your left fingertips. So that was your exhale to sink into your warrior. Inhale, dropping your right hand down, turning yourself to the left now into your high lunge, twisting that right foot onto the ball of your foot. Exhale, sinking low here. I'm gonna have to shuffle back again. <laughs> So inhale, pushing off that right foot, coming up ready for your warrior three. That was your inhale. Exhale, dropping yourself down, flexing that right foot, hips level. Take one inhale here. Exhale. Inhale, just gently dropping your right leg back. Exhale, sinking down into your high lunge. Inhale, planting your hands on the ground on either side of that left foot and sending that left foot back, exhale. Inhale here. Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana, slowly down. Inhale, baby cobra or cobra, making sure that your hips are staying connected to the mat here. And exhale, downward facing dog. <sighs> Pedal it out. To give ourselves a little break before we go through that flow again, step your big toes together, knees out wide, coming down into your extended child's pose, sending your hips back. <sighs> Allow yourself to catch your breath. Rolling out your forehead on the mat if it reaches Letting your stomach relax, your chest melt down to the earth. Okay, one more breath, my friends. And coming back up, all fours, tucking your toes under, send your hips up to down facing dog. We're doing that again on either side. Here we go. Inhale, follow your breath here, leg up to the sky, right leg. Exhale, knee to nose, step it on through. Inhale, warrior one, turning that right, left foot out, hips and shoulders to the front. Exhale, dropping down. Inhale, opening out to the side, warrior two. Exhale, sinking down into your warrior. Inhale, twisting yourself back to the front of your mat, 
high lunge, exhale, sinking down into your lunge. Shoulders down, neck long. Inhale, pushing off that back leg. And exhale, warrior three. Nice and slow. Remember your drishti is down on the ground in front of you. And if you're struggling to have your arms out to the side, you can rest them on top of your thigh or place something on the ground in front of you so that you can balance. One inhale here and exhale. Inhale, stepping back nice and gently, high lunge. Exhale, sinking down into your lunge. Inhale, planting your hands on either side of your right foot, scooting it back. Exhale, plank. Inhale here, rocking back and forth. Exhale, while you're a little bit forward over your wrist, Chaturanga Dandasana, down we go. Unpack your toes, inhale, cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Yeehoo, all right, other side, my flowy friends, let's do it. Left side, inhale, left leg up to the sky. Exhale, knee to nose, step it through. Inhale, warrior one, exhale, sink it down. Inhale, opening up to the side, warrior two, exhale, sinking down. Inhale, dropping that right hand, scooping it up to the front, twisting your body to the left, high lunge. Exhale, sinking into your lunge. Inhale, pushing off that back foot, balancing on your left, and exhale, dropping down into your warrior three on the left. Hands wherever you need them today. Core engaged, neck long. Remember to breathe. One inhale here. And exhale. Inhale, gently stepping back, using the weight of your body to bring you back to your high lunge. Exhale, sinking down into your lunge. Inhale, hands to the ground in front of you. Step it back to plank, exhale. Inhale, rocking back and forward. Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana. Nice and strong, coming from your knees if you need to. Inhale, cobra or baby cobra. And exhale, downward facing dog. Oh my gosh, my friends, pedal it out. You have done incredible today. That has been your warrior one, two, and three mashup. You are on fire. <laughs> Ooh, all right, stepping your feet into the middle of your mat, hands down, meeting your feet forward fold. Oh yeah. Allow your whole upper body to relax here. Bouncing up and down, rocking side to side, really lengthening through your spine and your neck. Now, generous bend in your knees, coming down to a little squat, dropping your bottom onto the back of your heels. And then we're coming down onto our back. So sitting on your bottom, legs out long, shuffle yourself into the middle of the mat and come on down. Hugging your knees into your chest. Ducking your tailbone up and under so that your lower back is flush to the earth. Rocking side to side. Drawing circles with your knees. And to finish off today, we're gonna to take a happy baby just to loosen our hips. We did a lot of work there with our glutes and our thighs and our hamstrings and our adductors all around our groin. So we're gonna loosen up our hip joints. So opening your knees out wide, sending your hands in between your legs, grabbing the inside of your feet. And then opening your legs out, pushing your heels up to the sky, pulling your feet down so that your feet are flexed. As if we are trying to pull our knee down so that it's touching the earth. Remembering here to keep your whole back, your whole spine to the earth, even your shoulders, making sure you're not rounding forward in your shoulders. You can rock side to side here, you can straighten one leg or the other, or you can just stay still in your happy baby. Finding the modification of this stretch that serves you today. Abandoning that thought, that pressure, that expectation that you have to look exactly the same as I look. 
That's just not possible, my friends. Only I can do what I do and only you can do what you do. So we gotta revel in that splendid individuality. One more breath. And then meeting together in Shavasana. Placing your hands on your body today if that feels nice. And honouring yourself today was a tough one. Melding all our worries together, it can be a lot of work. If you enjoyed it though, then make this a regular practice that you do. The strengthening and the conditioning that comes with this kind of flow is, is incredible. And you do notice that shift that happens in your day-to-day -day activities when you really start to cultivate that core stability. I hope you have been enjoying this new yoga challenge. If you are loving it, then please donate below, support me in this work, and I will see you tomorrow for day 19. Namaste.